Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you for coming to my presentation today I would like to talk about the monitoring the sea surface temperature or SST and total suspended matter or STSM based on cloud computing platform of Google Earth Engine or GE and open source software of QGIS and SNAP Okay, let's go to the background of this study the sea surface temperature of global open ocean has been increased around 0.11 degrees Celsius per decade on average, while the coastal areas have been increased around 0.18 plus minus 0.16 degrees Celsius per decade on average. This situation are likely to cause the fluctuation of the fisheries production. The tropical region will face decrease up to 40%, while the high latitude regions could increase the marine capture fisheries around 30 to 70%. The previous studies have also found that the procedure to retrieve sea surface temperature is need large size, large size of satellite image, high computer specifications, and utilization of commercial software. This traditional method is considered as time-consuming and costly methods. So the objective of this study is to propose new method based on cloud computing geocomputation platform of Google Earth Engine or GE to retrieve sea surface temperature information from thermal channel of Landsat 8. The study area. The study area is located in northern part of Australia. There are three main locations selected to retrieve the sea surface temperature and total suspended matter as shown in figure 1. The first location is Van Diemen Gulf, red color. The second location is Beagle Gulf, yellow color. And the last location is Timor Sea, represented in blue colors. This location is selected uh, due to high amount of total suspended matter reported by some scientific resources on different periods of analysis. The data and methodology. The Landsat 8 Collection 1 Tire 1 calibrated top of atmospheric or TOA reflectance is used and obtained within the GE platform. This data is available in GE data catalog. This dataset is corrected version. In total, there are more than 600 images were processed for an approximately 350 by 260 km subsets covering the study area in the period from early May 2016 to end of July 2020. Radiative transfer equation or RTE methods is chosen since the RTE method is a straightforward technique to produce surface temperature from a single TIR band, yeah, thermal infrared bands. In this study, we use band 10 of Landsat 8 to retrieve sea surface temperature. Since the band 10 has lower root mean squared difference or RMSD of 0.7 Kelvin compared to band 11 with 1 Kelvin RMSD. Furthermore, the Sentinel-3 Ocean and Land Color Instrument Earth Observation Full Resolution or OLCIEFR is used to validate the total suspended matter of the study area. The Sentinel-3 OLCIEFR is designed to retrieve the spectral distribution of upwelling radiance just above the sea surface. Furthermore, the level 1 or CIEFR datasets using CAS2 regional coast color or C2RCC processor within the SNAP software to retrieve the total suspended meters. This figure show us the user interface of this Google Earth Engine platform. So we can see here in the left side there are scripts, docs and asset panel. In the middle top there are uh, code editor panel. And in the right side, there is an inspector, console, and tax panel. While in the bottom, there are main map. They show us the result, visualize the result of the monitoring of the total suspended meter. The Google engine using JavaScript language to produce the results. Uh, this is also very efficient, very effective, where we do not to download the large size of data. We just called the data from the data catalog and using the program, the script program, we can execute the data. Finally, from the server of Google, they will produce the result and give the service to us and show the data 
visualize the geometrical pixel data in the main maps and also visualize the graphical data of graphic in the console tab this is the result we can see here that this is the graphics of the sea surface temperature in degree celsius from april 19 2013 to august 19 2020 we can see here we explore the lower yeah we can explore the lower and expect the lower this uh, sea surface temperature in the month of uh, march to august every year so we can see here in the 2014 2015 2017 and also in 2020 however the temperature is becomes higher especially in 2016 and in 2020 we can see even in the month of march to august the temperature is not low enough and this is the result of the total suspended matter we can see here the uh, higher concentration of total suspended matter found in the coastline in the gulf uh, e and even in every seasons yeah? even in dry or in rainy seasons we can explore and found the, the high concentration of total suspended matter in conclusion, this study evaluated the extraction of sea surface temperature and total suspended matter using thermal infrared bands of Landsat 8 and Sentinel-3 around Van Diemen Gulf, Beagle Gulf, and Timor Sea. Cloud computing platform of Google Earth Engine was used for seven years period of analysis. More than 600 images of thermal infrared band of Landsat 8 were acquired. Due to cloud cover, more than 135 images were excluded from the analysis. The excluded image sound very low sea surface temperature in average below 10 degrees Celsius. The uptime result showed that the sea surface temperature around the study area is very dynamic along the period of analysis, and the image is clear from the cloud coverage and saw average sea surface temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius. The method used in this study shows very promising since it is very efficient and effective in terms of time consuming as well as the hard disk drive space to save hundreds of files of satellites imageries. Thank you for attention. If you have any question or would like to discuss more about the cloud computing of geotemportation platform of Google Engine, you can email me, submit email, drop me email to fatwaramdani at ub.ac.id. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.